Hi everyone, uh, working with Sonics again today. Um, I need to now measure a 90 degree angle from here to here, but there's a little bit of a bump step in the way. And I was talking to my dad about using a, a metal triangle and grinding out a piece of the edge so I could fit it in there better, because I'm trying to measure the angle from here to here, not this bump. And so we'll actually just use a piece of paper. Paper is some of the most accurate high production cut pieces, so get a piece of paper, cut out the notch where you have a problem, and then go stick it in and verify it's 90 degrees. When it's 90 degrees, then I'll know that because this rear spar here is 100% uh, proper, that this piece will be 100% proper. I can mark it and then cut my fiberglass out um, after drilling uh, one or two holes and, and putting some, some uh, Clecos in there just to hold it and make sure it stays in the right spot. So that's what I'm going to be doing for a little while. I measured out where the first 40 size hole goes and I got it into there and all drilled properly. Now that I have it uh, proper, I'm going to go ahead and mark it and start um, grinding off the um, fiberglass. I'm going to double check with my dad and the best way to do that, but he told me a couple good ways earlier. But uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, one thing about how long the tips have been taking, because I saw my dad the other day and mentioned to him that uh, I had about 40 or 50 hours into the aluminum on the airplane then. I started working on the fiberglass tips, and the tips would take another 10 to 15 hours. He said, um, you know, that's kind of more how a normal airplane takes, is the how long it takes to work on the tips, because everything else on the aluminum side was all pre-drilled and pre, um, you know, pre-laser drilled and cut for you, so it made it really, really easy. These fiberglass tips, you know, fiberglass comes out of the mold a little bit off every single time, and you have to really work on it. But um, so that's part of the fun part, though, is just working with it, experimenting with it, and making your plane, so I'm going to keep working. Okay, I just flipped it over. I, I took the Dremel type bit and I went across here and cut the top over and then I flipped it over and went down here and cut, cut that with uh, the tin snips. I go ahead and uh, finish the rest of this, this line off over here and then clean up a little bit. Uh, my dad said I'll uh, make sure to make a nice sanding block and at the end keep going until it's all flush. And then at the end, uh, when I go to paint the airplane eventually, I'm going to putty this entire area as well too, make it super flush, and uh, especially you know, these areas up here. But the, I can go and fix cosmetically any little damage or ding I do along the way. So I'm doing relatively crude cuts right now, but just enough to get most of it off so I can continue to keep with, uh, working on it. I'm going to keep going. I use this little rounded sander tip for my uh, drill. I went to the rest after I uh, ground it off and I kind of cleaned it up just a little bit just to kind of get some of the bigger pieces off and to kind of uh, get the tail ready so I can uh, heavily sand it later when I go to you know body putting and everything else. I have these two spots I need to finish up on the top and bottom then I'll be done with this particular part. Uh, what I need to do, well so not the whole part but just what I need to do today, but I need to get an eighth inch drill bit and drill the exact 90 degree hole so I can trim in on both sides and I'll have a clean uh, edge to work with. So I'm going to do that now. There it is cleaned up. I said something wrong earlier. I said I needed a um, uh, an eighth inch radius. I actually needed a, an eighth inch uh, I said an eighth inch dia uh, diameter. I meant eighth inch radius. I'm saying that backwards. Uh, anyway, so I got this cleaned up here and uh, ground it down a little bit. It looks really nice and I'm going to make sure when I paint this all, I puttied in really nicely. I'm about to flip it over and finish that side on, on that one. Then I'll be done with this uh, particular tip for today. Uh, i got to go back to work and do some other things after this. So I just want to show you what I've been up to so far. I'm going to flip it over and clean up the last side and show you that one as well too.